Oh my god, rice gum, you little fucking bitch. You're a little fucking bitch. I did everything I could to help you two videos ago. I told you exactly how to respond to this shit. Exactly how to respond to this shit. And you fucking, yeah, did yourself this time. Like, this is some of the biggest garbage. Some of the most fucking just convoluted fucking self-absorbed fucking bullshit I've ever seen in my fucking life. I can't even fucking believe what I just saw. I can't fucking believe it. Now, the first thing that you bring up is the whole rape comment thing and your excuse for it, which is the first of many times you use this excuse, is that it was a long time ago. That doesn't excuse anything. Oh, well, that happened a year and a half ago or two years ago or two and a half years ago. That doesn't excuse it. That doesn't make it go away. That doesn't mean you didn't make it. You're like, oh, you guys should forget about that because it happened in the past. Things that happened in the past don't count. Unless it happened within the last, like, 48 hours, you can't hold it against me. And then to make matters worse, instead of just fucking continuing on with your video, you have to try to point out about how iDoves have made a bunch of jokes about rape. But there's a, there's a fucking fine difference. And you know, I'm not saying it's okay to make rape jokes or not okay. That's all a fucking personal moral fucking question for everyone to ask themselves. But my point is, is his rape jokes were imaginary. There, there wasn't no victim. There was no one involved. With you, however, there's a fucking actual person. You're making a rape joke to a rape victim. Like, that's fucking fucked up on a level I can't even imagine. And as iDubs, as fucking crazy as his mind works, I highly doubt he would ever, ever fucking take that route. So then what do you do? What do you do? You think at this point you're moving on, right? You, th you think you're gonna move on past the whole rape thing. But you know, you're like, I'm gonna make matters worse. I don't look like a big enough piece of shit yet. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show how she doesn't care. So he brings up some clip where he talked to her and said he was, you know, he didn't mean it, he was sorry, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, I don't remember it being that bad. And then he flies her out to her house, his house, brings her in, and then at fakes cry. Fucking some of the fakest cry I've ever seen in my life. It's so like, obviously very fucking sarcastic. And she's like, oh, I don't care, blah, blah, blah. You're, you're putting me on blast and getting my name out there and put me in your video that's going to get millions of views. So of course I don't fucking care at this point. But the problem is, is it's not just about her. It's about every rape victim. When you make fun of a rape victim to their fucking face, then you're making fun of all rape victims, not just this one. Oh, she forgave you, she moved on, and she's really pumped that you're getting her a lot of views. You're not getting all the other rape victim out there as a lot of views. So that's really where it comes down to. I dubs was jokingly making fun of rape victims. It's kind of like how you might say the word retarded to your friend, like, hey man, you're retarded. But you wouldn't look at a, someone who's actually retarded and say, hey, you're retarded. And if you don't see the difference between one and the other, then there's something fucking wrong with you. Next up, you bring up the whole thing about how he bashed you for being super objectifying towards women and just basically a piece of shit towards all these women and a bunch of old streams that you had. And, and I'll give y'all one guess of what his excuse is for that one. Oh, well that was a long time ago. Well, that was like two years ago back when I was like in high school and stuff. So therefore I'm forgiven automatically, right? So it doesn't matter what you did as long as it happened in the past. That's great news to hear. Someone should have let, know, uh, let Hitler know that before he fucking killed himself. Because if he would have just waited long enough, Everyone would have forgave him, and then we all could have just moved on past it and said, hey, you know what? He, that was years ago when he did that shit. And then he uses his comparison to try to show a point of PewDiePie using the N-word once on livestream. There's like a whole entire strain of fucking shit that you said. A whole entire fucking list, a whole entire video that could be made out of all the bullshit you said. And like one thing PewDiePie said, and that's your example to somehow justify what you've done. First off, pointing out what other people have done doesn't justify what you have done. So that's pathetic from the fucking get-go. And then you continue from there to show a bunch of clips of iDubs using the N-word and the F-word with two Gs and trying to use that as some way to justify your bullshit. But there's a fucking colossal difference here that you're fucking overlooking. iDubs isn't saying it to anybody. He's not looking at a fucking, you know, a black person or a gay person or a black gay person and saying these things to their fucking face. The shit you're saying, the things that you are doing, you are literally saying to real people. There's no way for that to be disguised as a joke because these are actual people that you're fucking saying it to, you colossal piece of fucking shit. And of course, once again, you finish up this whole entire argument with the classic it happened in the past excuse. I mean, that's that's your go-to at this point. That's the only excuse that you have is, well, that happened before, right now. 
so therefore it doesn't count. That's not an excuse. Gosh, it's not an excuse. It's, a, it's some weak sauce, dude. You, what the fuck? You put out a fucking 20, 30 minute long video here, and your excuse for almost everything is that it happened in the past. Come on, you're more creative than that. Next up, you say that you know you, you, you don't feel bad or sorry for any of them old videos, which you faked apologize like 12 times before this in the video. So obviously those were fake apologies because you didn't mean any of them. And then you say the only thing I really feel about, and then you, you, you flip over to the, uh, the, the rape victim who came to visit you once again, and then you show her uh, talking about how her life is different and how things are so much better now because she's a stripper. And then you show her stripper on a pole as you're shooting cash at her. Yeah, you're right, the rape victim's really turned her life around and everything's going great for her now that she's a stripper. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't fucking understand what the fuck is happening at this point in the video. Is this justifying you making fun of rape to a rape victim? Is that justified it somehow? You're like, no, no, she's doing good, guys. She's making decent cash, stripping for people. Yeah, you know I mean, what more could a rape victim ask for? Oh, and your next offense is probably my personal favorite out of the whole entire video. You bring up iDub's old videos, and you try to compare them to the videos you've deleted. The videos you've deleted is you, like, making fun of fucking rape victims and objectifying women and whatnot, and the old videos you bring up of iDubs that he deleted are videos of him just being a fucking colossal nerd. He's just being a nerd. He's nerding out, talking about bricks and shit and whatnot, and saying freaking instead of fucking. And you're like, oh, look, he's just as bad as I am. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you a fucking idiot? Are you, like, like, seriously, are you retarded? Because then I'll feel bad for calling you retarded, because that's how you should feel when you're talking to an actual person. When you actually talk to a person who's retarded and you call him retarded, you should feel bad. Are you, you fucking catching on here, dude? I tried to help you. I tried to help you with telling you the proper way to fucking handle this. You didn't listen. And just real quick before we move on to the next topic, I just want you to know at the end of that one, he wrapped it up once again about talking about how that was two years ago. How once again it was in the past. As long as anything ha happened in the past, it's okay. So when he fucks up in the future, once that passes, it's okay. Uh, you're only guilty in the moment. I hope you guys realize that. Whenever you, you commit a crime or you do something wrong, you're only guilty for that one little moment. You shouldn't have to face any consequences after that. Because in Rice Gum's fucking brain, that's how shit works. Next up, he brings back up the flexing thing about how he's fucking constantly showing off how much money he spends and stuff. His first excuse is, oh, well, then you should be mad at everybody in hip hop. Fuck, first off, iDubbbz never said he was mad at you to begin with. He's just roasting you. There's a big fucking difference, and it, it, it would be very kind of you to notice that. His second excuse that he uses is that he, oh, the only reason he was really showing off the price tags and everything is he feels like his fans, a lot of his fans have the same style that he has and they're curious how much it costs. No fucking buddy that's watching your video for the most part, I'm like telling you probably 99.9% .9 of your fans can't afford $6,000 t-shirts or shoes or whatever the fuck it is. No one can fucking afford that shit. Just you buddy, just you rice gum. You're, you're, you're fucking flexing and stop acting like you're not flexing. Stop trying to act like you have nothing but rich people watching your videos. Are you fucking crazy? Oh yeah, and I forgot in like the middle of his excuses for that one, he mentioned about how it was two years ago and blah 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 and it was in the past and blah blah blah, things in the past don't count, we should, you know, don't even worry about them, blah blah blah, for like the fifth time in the video. And then he wraps it all up on that one by asking us to be in his shoes a little bit. When he was growing up, he didn't have any money, but all these other kids around him had all the money and they had all these cool things. So now that he's finally got some money, he wants to show it off and rub it in everybody's fucking face. Let me tell you something, buddy. I'll go fucking, fucking bat to bat with you when it comes to fucking how poor you were growing up, and I guarantee I'm gonna win every fucking time. You have no fucking clue. And the only thing being poor does for you is it makes you more humble. And when you actually do have something, if anything, it makes you almost ashamed because you realize how many people people out there don't have fucking shit because you were one of those fucking people. So don't try to fucking pull the wool over our eyes. If you think you were poor, I highly fucking doubt it. You probably don't even know the first thing about being fucking poor. So shut your fucking mouth. Next up, Rice Gum responds to the whole 10 minute mark uh, thing that iDubs was complaining about. How, I, uh, how Rice Gum will fucking purposely uh, stretch his videos out to make them 10 minutes long by putting a long ending on it. And the only defense he has for this, he only has one defense for it, and it's by showing a bunch of PewDiePie videos where he did the same thing. Uh, fucking Rice Gum, pay attention to me for a minute. Uh, PewDiePie didn't roast you. Yes, 
He made a cameo in iDubbbz's video. Who fucking wouldn't want to make a cameo in iDubbbz's video? I guarantee you, being the fucking piece of shit that you are, if, if fucking iDubbbz called you right fucking now and asked you if you wanted to do a cameo in his video, even if it was bashing you again, you would fucking show up. Because that's just the kind of fucking guy you are. But yes, of course he did a cameo in iDubbbz's video. I would too, you would do it, every fucking buddy would do it. But, iDubbbz is the one who made the video, not PewDiePie. So using PewDiePie as a fucking scapegoat twice now in this fucking video, when it's iDubbbz making the video about you, is not only weak, but it's pathetic. And it shows how big of a little bitch you actually are. Next up, he brings up the fact that iDubbbz bashed on him for saying that all of his videos are jokes. All of his videos are jokes. Everyone takes them seriously, but they're all jokes. So I have a question for you. Is this video a fucking joke? It seems like a fucking joke. It feels like a fucking joke. So maybe it is a fucking joke. I have no fucking clue. And you say to him that uh, you don't fucking know me. Don't act like you know me. You don't fucking know me. Is this a joke too? Because this is in the video. So is that joking? I don't even know if you're being serious if you're joking anymore. Because sometimes you claim to be joking. But the whole fucking time you seem to be fucking serious. So are you serious? Are you joking? We're all fucking confused here, man. Next up, we get a montage of you and the, the rape victim slash uh, stripper slash model going throughout the town eating some food and whatnot. I mean, you are redefining the term try hard. I've never seen someone more in my entire life go out of their way to try to gloss over the fact that they made fun of a rape victim to their face. Like, I mean, the fucking extent that you've gone to in this video to try to make that seem okay is fucking insane. All you've really done, which I'm pretty sure was your goal and congratulations you've done it, is draw all the attention to that one mistake you made and gloss over all the other mistakes and not actually, uh, you know, attack them for what they truly were, or e even fucking comment on them for what they truly were, and make everyone just think about this part of it, and that's it. And the fact that you have her on your side now, you think that everyone's just going to overlook it. And y you know what? How about half the fucking people are. I saw your like to dislike fucking ratio. It's about equal right now. So I guess congratulations. You, you, you half did it. You got half the people back on your side. They're too fucking dumb to realize what you're doing. Now we're gonna talk about how you're videotaping people without their consent. And y your excuse for this one is, iDubbbz did it too. First off, you sound like my children. My children love to do that. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy, I didn't mean to uh, take paint on my fingers and rub it all over the walls. I just saw uh, Johnny do it too, so I thought it was okay. That doesn't justify what you've done. And here's the thing, iDubbbz is pointing about, out about how you're a hypocrite. He never said you were wrong for filming without consent. I'm sure he probably feels that way a little bit, especially with the women that you were just fucking being just fucking shitty as fuck to, but he didn't say that. All he said was that you were a hypocrite because you get upset when you're filmed without consent, but yet you'll film other people without consent. iDubbbz isn't upset if people are filming him without his consent. Show me the video where he's upset over that. You showed me a video where he filmed you without your consent. Okay. Fine, so what? What's your fucking point? He never said there was anything wrong with filming people without consent. You did. You fucking did. After you fucking filmed people without their consent. You're the hypocrite, not him. This isn't even a valid point. Once again, you're just trying to trick the fucking idiots that follow you. And then they bring up the 10K clickbait challenge and how he never fucking paid on it. And of course, the old video of him, his excuse is that the Ariana Grande concert, there was that shooting there. So be, people use that. Just fucking eliminate those fucking videos from the contest and just give it to the next winner. He goes, well, his excuse for that one's the weakest fucking excuse of the fucking, fucking video, in my opinion. He goes, well, I guess I owe someone 10K. Moving on. He just moves on to the next fucking topic. What the fuck? Oh my God, at this point, I'm just fucking exhausted. It's fucking exhausting. This video has got to be one of the most exhausting fucking videos I've ever seen in my life. I feel so angry and mad and I'm not even part of it. I have nothing to do with this fucking video, but it angers me so much to watch somebody with such, with such weakness, such weakness crumble and break for 22 fucking minutes. It's some of the just saddest shit I've ever seen in my life. And then you talk about how you're getting so angry and you're getting so upset. It must be really fucking hard for you, buddy. We're all really feeling for you. Yeah, uh, you know, all that shit that happened to you two days ago and before that or whatever the fuck. Yeah, we should just forget it. We should just forget it, guys. Let's just move on. Forgive rice gum because those things happened before this moment. And if they have before this moment, as Rice Gum has pointed out several times in this video, it doesn't count. And then we get a preview of the diss track, which is of course him just flexing a bunch. And then he shows himself writing it as if that's fucking sums up that he never had a ghostwriter. And all he's doing is fucking saying he's gonna, I don't know, fucking hit 
I dubs or something. He's gonna hit him if he keeps talking or something. I don't fucking know. There's no fucking point to this video. I'm done. I'm tapping out, Rice Gum. You got me. I mean, honestly, there's like 54 seconds left or something. I just don't have it in me. I'm exhausted, dude. So tired. So tired. Such a long, pointless, fucking bullshit video. I don't even know why I'm making a response to it. It doesn't even deserve a response. No one should respond to it. I wouldn't be surprised if iDubs never even mentions you again. It would not shock me. Not even a little bit. You're a little bitch. You're a little bitch and you got a big L. That's all you are anymore is just a big, giant, enormous fucking L. Rice gum, change your fucking YouTube name to L. Cause that's what you are. And that's all you'll ever be other than a little bitch. Which also starts with an L if you think about it. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining in. I hope I didn't dribble on a little bit too long there. I, I really uh, appreciate all your support on the last few videos and everything. And as always, I've been the Gator, and you've been great. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet?